Today we're checking out the Cheerson CX-17. It is the quad I got stuck in the tree for about a month, and it was sent to me courtesy of GearBest.com. Thanks to GearBest. Let's see if it still flies, and let's show you some flight footage of when it was brand new. I'm gonna get right into the flight footage on this one because I don't have a ton of it because I got it stuck in the tree. So apologize for that, and it was completely my fault. So I'm not gonna blame the quad or the app or anything like that. So why don't we just show you the footage of this trying to take off after I had it in the tree for a month, and then I'll get into talking over the actual footage. This is gonna be the flight review of the Cheerson CX-17 Cricket. This is the one that was in my tree for about a month. Rained on, weathered on, all that stuff. So we'll see if we can get it in the air and check it out. This one does have an on off switch. So what I'm gonna do is turn our transmitter on here and then we're gonna turn the quad on. Should be getting some LEDs blinking there. I'm not 100% sure it was. I think it did though. Yeah, it looks like we're good. So let's go. and see if we can pair this to our app. It does say it is connected. It will automatically connect once you connect the first time. And we'll go into our app here. So I am hoping that this works because the issue I had when I ended up in the tree was I couldn't fly it with the app while I was flying it with the transmitter or I should say I couldn't connect to the app while I was flying with the transmitter. So if that's, it seems like might be the case here. So why don't we just try flying this right now and see what exactly happens. So we got a little bit of wind coming at us here. That should be the second rate, and now I believe we're in the third rate. So this one's not the best outdoor flyer. And it can get a little screwy in the altitude hold department. There we go. The altitude hold wants to take it up. All right, I'm gonna land it. or at least attempt to land it. All right, we got it back. See the wind, again, this is not the best outdoor flyer in the world. Altitude hold can get a little funky as it just did there. So if you're gonna fly this one outside, beware, especially in the wind like today. I mean, it flies okay. See, now the uh, altitude hold wants to take it up. So I'm gonna call this one a, basically an indoor flyer. What happened there? just flew out of the sky. Maybe that was a safety feature, maybe we're low on battery, I don't know. I'm guessing maybe we're low on battery. All right, I don't know. Maybe it's low on battery. Maybe it's not working anymore. Are we flashing here? It's not flashing. LEDs are not flashing, so let's just see what happens. See if we can get it up in the air again. Uh oh. Oh, I don't know what happened. See, again, with this one, it was in the tree for a month, so if it does some weird things, I think that's somewhat understandable. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't want to take off. Yeah. It was in the tree for a month, so any sort of weird things this guy's doing, I think are somewhat understandable. So I'll roll some footage of this one actually flying before it was in the tree, and I'll kind of talk over it and I'll show you guys some video and I'll obviously show you how I ended up in the tree. 
So let's get to that footage. So I had one flight of this where I didn't try to link it up to the app and I was outdoors and it was a fairly calm day and definitely fly this on a calm day outdoors if you're gonna fly it. But I don't recommend this one as an outdoor flyer. That being said, I did fly this outdoors a few times. And the first time, as I said, I did not link it up to the app. I just wanted to fly it around and see how it flew. And it flew decent. The wind and air pressure changes seem to affect the barometer and it may suffer from one of those problems where a lot of these altitude hold quads don't want to come down too easily when they get up in the air. So definitely be aware of that if you're a beginner. Do not fly this one outside until you get a little more level of experience. So it flew pretty good outside other than the altitude hold issue. And then the next time I tried to fly it, I wanted to link it up to the app. And I linked it up to the app and then I tried to connect to it with the transmitter and no dice. Wouldn't, didn't want to do it and I messed around with it for a while and then I just said, well, maybe I'll just fly it with the app and see how that goes. And I gotta be honest, I'm not a huge fan of app flyers, but this one flew very well, especially on the calm day that I was out there. It was extremely calm and I was able to fly this one around very smooth and get some decent video and I was kind of impressed with how it flew and the smoothness of the video and the quality of the FPV feed. Very little lag at all and it didn't freeze too much either so very solid flyer in that regard. If you're looking for some sort of Wi-Fi live view that's not too expensive this one might be a winner for you. And then I think I got a little too cocky and I was flying around and I wanted to get a shot more of the neighborhood and then I started to fly over my neighbor's house and then I kind of panicked that I was going to lose signal because it is a Wi-Fi and I'm just flying it with my smart device. So I tried to kind of like yank it back and because I thought I actually had lost signal with it and so I kind of abruptly pulled back on the stick and then I ended up in the tree. So, tried to climb the tree and get it out, and I couldn't find it. I was poking around with my roof rake, couldn't find it, climbed the tree. My daughter was sitting here watching me the whole time, and she actually said to me, Daddy, I don't think that looks safe. So my four-year-old daughter has more sense than I do because I'm, a I'm up in the tree trying to retrieve my quad. But anyway, totally my fault and why I ended up in the tree. I make no claims of being a great app flyer or flying it with my smart device. As far as flying goes, I would recommend it as an indoor flyer. It doesn't fly especially well outdoors. You can fly it on calm days, and that's what I was doing when I was flying it outside. Both times that I flew it outside, it was very calm out, so it wasn't affected by the wind at all. There was one day where I flew it where it was a little bit breezy, and that seemed to make the altitude hold do some weird things where it shoots it up in the air. So definitely, I'm calling this one an indoor flyer. Fly this one outside at your own risk. And as far as indoor flyers go, it's decent. You know, it has the prop guards on it, so it's going to protect your props. So if you're looking for a solid indoor flyer, maybe something for your kids or something like that, this one's not too bad, but I would definitely not fly it outside. This one seems to have a problem with the altitude hold. The barometer kind of goes a little haywire when it gets windy or there's a lot of air pressure. So fly it outside at your own risk. The transmitter has a pretty nice feel to it, different shape than your normal transmitter, has a space for your smart device, basically only going to be able to put a cell phone in there and a pretty small one at that. I don't think you're going to be able to put one of these larger phones in it. And on the upper left you're going to notice it has a camera and a mode button. I believe you can switch modes between one and two. So it'll change your throttle and your pitch and roll and your yaw to the different sides if you're interested in that. On the other side, it has the auto land and auto takeoff button. And then I believe you push the left stick in to change your rates and push the right stick in for your flips. This one's not a bad flyer. It didn't exactly wow me in any one way, shape or form. It doesn't do anything like especially well, but it's a solid flyer. So if you're interested in it and you buy it and you're just gonna buy it for an indoor flyer, I don't think you're gonna be disappointed with it. But my one concern is, I think mine is just has some sort of bug where it won't fly with the transmitter while the app is going. But if that is the case where you can only fly it with the app, with the smart device, then I would definitely steer clear of this one. But I think mine just has some sort of bug in it where it's not working with that feature. So I'm gonna leave you with some footage of me trying to get the quad out of the tree when I got it stuck. Didn't know exactly where it was and I could kind of see it in the live view for a while until the battery died. So you'll have some fun watching me poking around with my roof rake trying to knock this one out of the tree. And then it eventually fell like a month later. Oh, look what I found. 
somebody decided to join us from the tree. So again, indoor flyer. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, guys. Uh -huh.